Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 14th of 2021. Well, it is titled the pencil nebula supernova shockwave. So what do we see here? Well, we see a pencil apparently moving very quickly at nearly half a million kilometers per hour as it tears through the through interstellar space. Now this is what is known as the pencil nebula almost because of its flattened straight shape at the edge of the shock wave there. And as it moves through. Now uh, what this is is a part of a supernova remnant and in fact we're only seeing a small portion of what is known as the Vela supernova remnant and the whole thing would be a hundred light years in diameter and this is only about a five light year section so about one twentieth of the entire supernova remnant but it stands out for its distinct shape. Now we see this pencil which is again tremendously large five light years long which means it would stretch easily uh, between the our sun and the nearest star it would be a little bit further than that distance. Alpha Centauri is a little over four light years away and this is about five light years long. So it gives you an idea of how large this is and how much it has been expanding over uh, since or since this supernova occurred which was about 11,000 years ago. Now, of course, it has slowed down since then. It is not going as fast as it was. Out in space, things normally don't slow down. If something starts moving in one direction, it will follow Newton's laws and continue to move in that direction at the same speed. And that is unless some outside force acts upon it. And in this case, the outside force that would be acting upon it would be the interstellar medium. So as it has to plow through the interstellar medium, that slows it down much as an object traveling through our atmosphere would slow down if it were not continually being propelled. So an airplane, if you were to turn off the engines, would slow down over time. Now this would also slow down if there were no interstellar medium it would continue to expand at the initial rate that it had. However it will sl slow down simply because it is going through other material which compresses it and gives it its specific shape and provides that shock wave and all the filaments within that we see in this nebula. Now this is the uh, expanding debris of a star that was seen to explode long ago and the material that expels out become joins with the interstellar medium as it continues to slow down eventually it will become just a part of the interstellar medium and will become seed material for future stars. So some of this material many millions of years from now will begin to form other stars and they will be enriched in those heavier elements that are, make up planets such as Earth. So initially everything was hydrogen and helium and those heavier elements are made within stars and many of those heavy elements are expelled back out into space in supernovae like this that eventually become the seed material for future generations of stars. So that was our picture of the day for April the 14th of 2021. It was titled the Pencil Nebula Supernova Shockwave. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.